All right, everybody. So I've been asked a lot here lately about people. I've got a lot of new spinners in our Facebook group and on our YouTube channel. So I um, have been asked a lot about want people wanting to spin a nice, even yarn. And this is something I've covered before, but I wanted to make an easily searchable video for my channel and not just something that was like part of something else. So this is going to be shown on my Spinolution Polywog, which I've sold a good many of here lately, and it's a great entry uh, wheel, or really any level wheel. Uh, my love of the Polywog is pretty extensive. But I wanted to show it on this wheel, since it is a wheel that I feel like a lot of new spinners really love. So, um, first off, first consideration with spinning an even single is I like to do... Um, pre-stripping so pre-strip your fiber and this is just some of my like kind of scrap fiber for spinning demos and it looks like it's just kind of a it's a bit of a mystery fiber but judging from the how soft it is and the crimp i would say it's a uh, dyed brown merino so i'm going to pull it into some ribbons i like to start my mine around the size of kind of like my little finger um, maybe a little bit thin, you know, thinner if you pull it tight, about the size of my little finger if it's poofy, but about that big. And um, so I would say pre strip those out first. And then, so that's pre stripping. Pre drafting, what you hear people talking about with that is where you kind of go through and you pull like this just to uh, kind of loosen up the fibers. And also, it's good if you're newer to kind of familiarize yourself with how long the fibers are because like I said this one I think is merino so it's a little bit shorter so it can pull apart more easily than something with a longer fiber. I'm gonna have my wheel I always like to have it on a um I like to start on kind of the middle setting just for a not too tight not you know just and you can kind of adjust from there and uh let me get this going I always just say accept that the first little piece of yarn going on is always going to be a little funny looking because uh, at least for me it always is. I want to make sure I have optimum camera here. <clears throat> so don't get too upset about that first little piece. But for an even single, I would say the key is you want your feet to be going at an even speed, not too fast, not too slow. And you don't want to be doing a big motion, like a big jerking, because that's how you end up with breakage or like a big blob that you're fighting with. I think the best key for an even single, in my opinion, is the uh, work you do kind of before you start spinning. What I just showed, the stripping it into ribbons and then the, um, the pre-drafting, because that way you're not having to do as much motion and, you know, work basically down here while you're spinning. You see, this is a nice even single. And there's also, there's kind of different spinning techniques. Worsted, I feel, <clears throat> worsted spinning is what I think most people start with. And that's where you kind of, you got your fiber supply and you're pulling forward. So in my opinion, I think if you've got a lot of pulling, you know, if you're really having to do a lot of your drafting right here, instead of having it kind of pre-drafted or pre-stripped down, like if you're going from a big, <clears throat> here, let's pretend I'm trying to do this from something bigger, which is when I started spinning what I did. I started with a much bigger section. So see if I connect this bigger section here, so let's see that's a big old blob. And so then if I'm sitting here and I'm like fighting with it, and I'm like, ah, and then like pulling and, and you, you know, which if you're trying to make thick and thin yarn, that's cool. <laughs> but if you're not trying to make thick and thin yarn, you know, so the more work I'm having to do down here, the more uneven it's going to be. Whereas if I strip that down, I'm going to put it kind of between my knees and then go through and do a little bit of pre-drafting and just loosen that up where I'm not having to do as much work at the you know orifice here we'll connect to this see uh so whether you're doing front pulling worsted spinning or if you're doing more of a back pulling spinning this way either way is pretty smooth i think if you're really concerned about smoothness i would definitely go with more of a worsted style spin i guess that would be my second tip which is where you're pulling forward and then kind of smoothing back. 
to pull forward and smooth back instead of what you normally kind of see me doing because my preference in yarns are you know a little bulkier and looser is where you see me doing like the long draw but if you really want to make like a nice compact yarn for plying and then making socks or something definitely i think this smaller shorter pinch forward method from a already pre-drafted fiber is how i would go and uh, I hope that's helpful. And uh, of course, for more in-depth on this and really fiber breakdowns, fiber prep breakdowns, and different spinning techniques, I will, of course, recommend my uh, Design Your Own Dream Yarn course because it really goes from, you know, the beginning of, like, let's talk about wheels all the way through, you know, planning what type of yarn you want, including a nice even single and really planning from the get-go. There's like homework involved on accomplishing that. So uh, for a more in-depth look than what I have time to do right now, uh, I've already done it. <laughs> it's recorded and it's all in that course. So uh, that would be my first tip. So just control your feet, prep your fiber really well ahead of time, and don't get too uh, twisty or ahead of yourself. And uh, comment below and let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to clear that up.